Hello, and welcome to Skittles Saturday Suggestions. My name is Sarah Tillinghast. I'm a whole brain teaching certified instructor that is in the kindergarten classroom during the school year. And today I want to share with you my tips and tricks for implementing the magic triangle into your classroom. So the magic triangle is part of our social skills games, and it is phenomenal. So I actually got to play this with the last um, fourth quarter with my um, kindergartners this spring, and then I got to introduce it to brand new students in June that had no whole brain teaching experience. So I have worked with those kiddos and after being with those kiddos, I got some tips for us to use when we start um, using magic triangles. So here we go. And let's talk about it. So um, the magic triangle is a part of whole brain teachings 3.0. And I have in the uh, description below, I have the link for free that you can download. And it's gonna go through those three components, fiber and cherry dice and fiber plus. So I'm actually not gonna take the time to go over that today, because I'm wanting to just share with you the tips and the tricks for that. So you're gonna need to make sure if you haven't already read the description for these, to pause the video right now, go to the description, click on 3.0, read those descriptions really quick, and then come back and then it'll make more sense for my tips and tricks. So starting Fiverr, you wanna have it posted outside your door. Um, and then, my tip and trick for Fiverr is you don't just play Fiverr once during your day, okay? You may play it two, three times. Skittles plays it every single time my students come back into the classroom. So before we do a rule review, we're actually doing all the magic triangle. And I'm telling you, it's worth the five minutes it takes to play the magic triangle. All right, so that's my tip for Fiverr. But surprise, I also have some power ups for each of these as well. So my power up for Fiverr Plus, I'm still cool for Fiverr, is this poster that you can get below in the description. Um, and for this, you would roll up this poster periodically uh, when there's something special happening birthday for a student, class party, field trip, uh, 100th day of school. We're not over the moon happy every day. So that's why I'm saying you wouldn't roll this out every single day. Um, periodically uh, is when I would do it. So that's my power up for fiber. For cheery, my tip for you is to scaffold introducing cheery. Okay, so to, in order to play the first cheery game that is on 3.0 is a partner game, the cheery dice starter. So in order to play that game, you will have needed to teach your students the expectations for talking with a partner. Okay, now in kindergarten, that's a little ways. Okay, so my suggestion is if you go down the slides a little ways, you're going to find something that says power poses and yoga poses. So those two cheery games do not require a partner. All right. So you can play those really early in your school year. And the expectation they just have to know when you roll the dice, you do the pose. Now, my other tip is before you play the game, where you as the teacher is go, are going around talking to the ones and the twos and possibly threes from the game Fiverr, uh, you would actually model playing the game with the students, okay? So model first before implementing out, okay? My power up for Cheery Dice is what you're looking at right now. So coach has made in 3.0 a template where you can create your own game to match what you need. So what I needed for kindergarten was a simpler cheery dice starter, okay? So for this game, you notice I only have three different choices for a sentence. One choice is an exercise break, one choice is in a song break, and if you were in my online session, 
My other tip is if it's a cheery game that has a song break or an exercise break, go ahead and embed in your slides the video that you would pull up so you're not having to search for it if the dice rolls a two or a four. All right, so that's my power up for cheery dice. And then our last one is Fiverr. Okay, so my tip for Fiverr is again, scaffold it, micro step it. So the first couple of days that you're playing Fiverr, maybe just have them show a thumb up if they're improving. Okay, so maybe not ask for any volunteers. Okay, after a couple of days or even weeks, then move on to asking for volunteers to share. Again, you need to model what sharing sounds like and looks like before you call on volunteers. And that leads me to my power up because once you start having students sharing um, how their mood has been lifted, you can also bring out two amazing brainies, the because crusher and however, and I added coaches um, cartoon here with hands on hips. So you know what I'm doing because it's hard to see my hands on my hips in this video. So uh, this is an example of what um, the sentence would be with these two things. I was feeling a three. However, I am now feeling a four because we got to do power poses. Ert! So here, your students are getting to show some brainy creativity. And if you're loving this brainy creativity poster, I'm including the link to it in the description here. All right. So again, those are just my tips and tricks for implementing the magic triangle. Um, if you have any further questions, feel free to email or send a question out in the Facebook groups. I know I had a lot who had tons of amazing questions during our online session. And I just wanna thank our whole brain teaching community for taking the time to come to our online sessions and it just shows that whole brain teaching is an amazing um, movement that is founded by the teachers in the classroom. And it's great. So anyway, have an amazing weekend and I will see you next week. Bye.